So here is Pomesa, a wonderful Pasafino horse who um, has some dry area in the center. And Brigitta says that she gets a dry spot here with her current saddle, which is not a Pirelli saddle. You can see with the, the muscles being flat here um, that she's not able to use her back and push up into her saddle. And she's got a bit more of an uh-uh muscle here from carrying her head high. So we're going to see what the cruiser might do for her with a smart pad um, shimmed, we hope, perfectly. Inside the Velcro pockets of the smart pad, we're going to use our tapered ferrofoam shims. We'll use two of them. We'll put the center one in the center area of Pomesa's back to support her, and then we'll add a shoulder shim pulled back from the front of the pocket so it doesn't impede her scapula in motion. Okay, Brigitte has put the cruiser on top of the smart pad here, and she'll pull up the contoured wither of the pad up high into the gullet. That should give Pomesa plenty of room. And after we get her all girthed up, we'll make sure that we can reach under here all the way to the stirrup bar. Uh, meanwhile, Brigitte, if you run your hand along the bars of the saddle on that side, up mm -hmm. underneath the pad, can you tell me, do you feel nice, even contact yes. between Pomesa's body and the saddle all the way along the bars so there's no empty spot in the center there where there was? Well, hopefully the shim has no, filled not. it. Good, good, good. Feels very even. Good. Um, Pomesa really needs to move her shoulder a lot to mm -hmm. gait, and she mm -hmm. gaits really fast. And I think it will really help her that the saddle is cut back right here. That's and exactly. Really free up her shoulders. That's exactly why we did it that way. Yeah. And the, in the cruiser, even on a short backed horse, you should be able to position this curve on the underflap, this curve right, right at the back edge of her scapula when she's at rest. If you position it there, she'll be able to swing nicely underneath. All right. As I lead her forward, Brigitte, you reach. Come on, Pomesa all the way back to the stirrup bar and make sure her shoulder has plenty of room to move in there. Feel it? Yeah. Good. Because I think that's not been the case with her other saddle and that's why yeah, that's she traveled right. with her head so that's, high that's kind of and her back so hollow. I'm gonna push in my... Feel good? I'm past the... I'm here. All right. But it's not... Feel doesn't feel empty there, does it? There's no. connection? I think she'll there be is, able to push her back up with this. Maybe we'll see. a tiny little bit more pressure here. But also my arm is She's sick standing, right yeah. <laughs> well, Mesa definitely seems to be walking more rhythmically than she does when I've seen her in the past. She tends to travel normally with a very high head, stiff neck. But I'm seeing Oof. flash will catch up. Much more rhythmic with her head bobbing, starting to bob down a bit instead of up, which is typical for Pomesa. I think she's um, a little surprised by the feel. Well, when we're out on the trail, Brigitte and Pomesa really enjoy going fast. So as I came over the hill, I could see they were enjoying some of their usual speediness. And I'm curious to know what Brigida will tell me about what she felt, because what I am seeing is a horse that looks a good deal more comfortable than I normally see when she's being ridden in her regular saddle. She feels good. She, she's got such a habit of traveling with a high head, but I, I definitely noticed that she was more round along the whole top line. Her neck looked longer instead of being um, straight up and stiff on top. So she, she's settling, uh, settling into it, and that'll change more and more. And what are you feeling? I feel that she is very happy and very fluid under me. There's not um, a lot of grace 
and she has a tendency to put her head high and then brace. And I didn't feel that at all. She that's can move very freely underneath. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, she she and normally I, does have that. I hope that really letting stiff her brace. go a little faster mm -hmm. made her realize that too. Yeah, it did normally when she's a creature of habit and pattern and it might take a little longer for her to really realize that it, she doesn't get pinched and it doesn't hurt. Yeah. Well, she definitely looked she actually as I came up over the ridge I thought that looks like a different horse. That looks like the beautiful Palmesa that she should be under saddle. I I want to show you this video. <laughs> All right, Brigitte, let's see what we have for a sweat pattern. She certainly did work up a bit of a sweat. Okay, okay, sweat pattern. We've just pulled off the cruiser. What do you think, Brigitta? I like it a lot. <laughs> um, she, <clears throat> it's really symmetrical here, and mm -hmm. it's a wide area. She just didn't sweat as much here, is my, my guess. But I often, this is, on this sweaty, is wet. sweaty no. rides, or she's not as dirty here. On sweaty rides, I get like little pinch circles right here. With your even other though, side. yeah, even though I have a memory foam pad and all kinds of things, but I felt I could feel during the ride, that especially this area here, mm -hmm. she moved much freer than her shoulder, and she has this big muscle here. Yeah, and. Um, well, these muscles will like develop more and, and be more round when she can. This is kind of a compensating muscle m down compensating here, muscle. Holding, holding her head high. And like she has compensating muscle here, holding her head high and pulling with her underbody instead of pushing from behind and rounding up. But she was, she was uh, really looking really wonderful. Happy. Good job. No ruffles. I'm proud of you. <laughs> And when she walked, she walked much more rhythmically and not as staccato as Leticia would say. <laughs> and um, and I could overall feel her move really freely, freely under myself. And especially we went up one really steep ditch. Mm -hmm. And I have done that many times with my other saddle. And I could really feel her engage her whole body without any brace whatsoever. So she braces in the other saddle, but she felt Yes, round. but I felt like she could move forward so easily. And well, she definitely, she looked like a different horse to me as I, I watched you canter around. She was so nice and round and up along naturally here. Naturally, she is. She yes, is, in has, the pasture. Yes. And, um, and I have looked forever now to find something that would make her more comfortable in her older years. Well, uh, normally I'm so accustomed to seeing rigidity here, really stiff, mm -hmm. stiff all along, and she, she wasn't. She was, she was lovely. I hope I got a couple of pictures of her though. We were moving, moving along, and Flash was moving. And it was hard to take pictures. <laughs> Would you like to put that saddle down, dear? Yeah. <laughs>